All right, hello everybody. Uh, this is Rob. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, and we are doing the uh, Waited for Blu-ray uh, part of my channel. This is the second one. Uh, so far, <laughs> really nobody has seen it. Um, I'm going to continue to keep doing them even if uh, it takes a while for it to get uh, running. But uh, this is the second one, and we're doing it for the movie Good Time. Uh, pretty much nobody has seen this movie. Uh, it's gotten some pretty decent reviews by a lot of people um, that I pay attention to. Uh, especially uh, like Brad Jones really is, really, really likes this movie. Now, it didn't come anywhere near where I live, really, and because uh, it was a pretty small movie and here in this area of Illinois. You can pretty much count on, uh, if you want to see a movie like this, you gotta, you got to do some traveling, and I don't really have the time for that all the time, so I had to wait, and uh, I was intrigued because of the way this movie is being described. So without spoiling it, um, and after watching it, uh, is this worth a rental? Is this worth your time at all? <laughs> well, um, just like uh, the Hitman's Bodyguard, uh, a lot of this depends on how you feel about Robert Pattinson. Um, so, man, this movie. Robert Pattinson is doing some really good work here. That being said, I hated him in this. Like, I hated his character so flippin' much that it's a, it's a testament to the actor. Just because somebody's a bad person in a movie doesn't mean that the acting is bad. He is doing a really good acting job. My problem is, uh, unlike what Brad Jones said about being entertained by this movie, and he... Will, <laughs> He watches a lot of like exploitation movies and things like that, so I can understand like uh, his entertainment value of it. Like it's a very, very gritty movie, very realistic. And you know, I always want to see more realism on screen and more people that look like regular people. You know, people that don't look the Hollywood norm, and that's a good thing. That's a, something that this movie has going for it is. It's so steeped in the real world and it's ugliness. And it's just, I hated this movie. Like, pretty much. And it wasn't because it's, this is basically my personal taste. Um, it's a, well-made movie and it's a well-acted movie and a lot of these people you know there was a lot of street casting so a lot of these people aren't even really actors but good time I just hated it and I hated his character I hated him so much and I hated oh, like almost all the people in it and it's because I just find the people in it, they're just such scum. Well, it, it, just such scumbags. And they really sold it to the point where I shouldn't, you know, like, I should like this movie because of how um, well it's acted and written and everything. But it's just so, sometimes, it, like, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. And this movie is so real and so, like, I know people like this piece of shit. I've met people like this. I've met people who live this kind of life. And people, like, and I hate them. I know hate's a strong word, but people, I can't stand people like these people in this movie. And, and that should be a no-brainer. You know, they do bad things. But I'm not just talking about the things they do. I'm just talking about on a basic level of human, the way humans are. I hate these people, these takers, and these ignorant, ignorant people. And just the justification that they have in their lives. And since I've known too many people that are like this, that it's just, it wasn't fun to watch. It was not entertaining to me. Because I just was disgusted. 
by like the actions of these people and the way that they they see and view people in the world around them. Um, you know, these people that just take and expect things um, from people and from the world and like there's really no explanation of like this ba this bank robbery that they do at the beginning. I feel like he's just a scumbag who wanted some money and they're gonna run away and he wanted an easy thing. Like it's another thing, it's that easy way out mentality that I see in a lot of people uh, like younger people and not all younger people are like this, but just this this kind of I'm making bad decisions and bad things are happening to me. Why? kind of mentality and so like if you really like Robert Pattinson you're gonna like this his is one of his best acting jobs I mean forget about Twilight you know I'd like to I'd, I'd like to forget those movies exist because this guy's a really good actor and the, the, the title good time <laughs> this was not a good time for me and it's just, I don't even think it's supposed to mean that um, there's a line at the very end about you're going to have a good time or you can have a good time and really I feel like this is a story about how and this might be a minor spoiler but it's how his Constantine Miku so whatever the hell his name is um, how his mentally challenged brother ends up where he needs to be which is away from this piece of shit and the brother's really not in it that much but it is almost like it feels like the story of how this guy had to get out of that guy's life and if you I'm sure that there are some people that, get, that would love this movie and that kind of scares me because it, I kind of if you enjoy watching people just be despicable and really real about it like I I I am so torn because part of me, like, I've liked movies with characters kind of like this. And I've liked movies about bad people doing bad things. Like I said, this is something on a more visceral level that hits me personally. That I just can't, I did not enjoy this movie. Watching this movie was hard for me to get through because the people in it were so good at being just pieces of garbage. Human garbage. That I couldn't wait for it to be over. So I will never watch this movie again. But on a base on a level, I do. I am glad I watched it once. Because I never need to see this movie again. But I guess in a way, I'm glad I did. Because he really was good in it. I just hated everything about this movie. Just every scene just was more ugh. like just shitty, more shitty people doing shitty things and gross things. And just if this is like, uh, anyway, <laughs> I don't want to talk anymore about this. I talked more about this and the Hitman's Bodyguard, and I liked that one more than this. But uh, anyway, there's something about a, a movie that you're supposed to like that you hate. Anyway. So anyway, if you like this video, please like, uh, please subscribe to the channel, it's easy, you just hit a button, uh, comments, did you like this movie, what did you think of the acting, uh, what should I do next, um, I don't know how many views I'll get on this, but I will continue to do more, I don't know what's the next uh, Waited for Blu-ray going to be, but we've got Walking Dead tonight, I plan on getting at least one or two Punisher videos up before the end of the day, and Mr. Robot on Wednesdays. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on December 1st, and Runaways, we're also doing that. So until next time, have a good Sunday, and we'll see you later.